Hello and welcome to this episode of FDE TV. I'm Steve Dunkley. Now in a world of digital disruption, channel partners for technology vendors like Dell Financial Services or DFS, they need to help their enterprise clients move with speed and agility to go to market first, for example and at the same time find solutions for their clients' budget limitations and specific capacity and technology requirements. A set of flexible consumption bottles has recently been introduced by DFS that can complement traditional leasing and asset management, both for the channel partners' enterprise clients, but also for the channel partners themselves. So in this episode of FDE TV, we'll be talking to Dave Roberts and Rob Schonk from Dell Financial Services about these latest developments, as well as hearing from two channel partners, Stefan Muller from Tech Data, which is a DFS distributor, as well as Jens Gerken from Software One, a leading software reseller. We'll also be getting some analyst insight from Susan Middleton from IDC, who moderated the recent FDE Munich Roundtable that was produced in association with Dell Financial Services. We begin by asking Dave and Rob about the different types of channel partner Dell Financial Services work with and why the channel partner is so important. Dell Financial Services work with the full range of channel partners from distribution all the way through to our smaller partners. We, we actually want to be a provider of service through financial solutions like lease, but also through consumption models and software financing to all of those partners. We see financial solutions as a key enabler because the channel partner has to be able to solve the customer's challenges of IT today. So if we're not reaching through our channel partners of all sizes, we're not solving and not helping them solve their customers' challenges. The partner is extremely important and uh, I, I say that, I believe that, um, Michael Dell says that, partner is very important because um, there's so much going on in the world, in the business world, in the world in general of course, but we're focusing on the business world, that we can never reach everyone at the same time. Everyone's in a hurry, so if you're too late to this transition and this modernization, yeah, you might miss the boat. People say that in five years from now, some big names won't exist anymore because the smaller ones that are much more agile will take over. So we need our partners to, uh, to help us uh, accomplish what we want to accomplish, and that is, of, of course, serve as many customers as possible. Partners, very important. So collaborating with channel partners is key for Dell Technologies to increase its reach into the market and better serve customers in a climate where almost every company is going through some sort of digital transformation. So what is the key to a successful channel partner relationship? Um, the beginning is always a trust. So if you trust each other, so then you can go uh, forward in the business. Trust and as much as simplify the processes to work together. These are the uh, both, uh, uh, from my point of view, most important uh, key factors. The key with uh, DFS and the relationship to the, to the, to the financial service is uh, our coverage with the uh, account manager, the, the tools we, we have so we can react much, much faster and speed is uh, key in that business. Um, plus uh, the trainings we received and we will uh, bring all the uh, material to our reseller base and to our sales guys Basic financial training, of course, we are receiving a very nice support from DF DFS to uh, accelerate the business. We need to listen to our channel partner. They're not all the same. We need to understand their business metrics and what they're trying to achieve. Because many of those channel partners are also transforming into being a, a, a service provider, a hoster of services out to their customers. So they have both worlds to live in. How do they become more relevant to their customers in the sale cycle? and how do they themselves transform digitally to become a provider of service. So not all channel partners are the same. Most notably, there is a different type of collaboration between DFS and its distributors, such as Tech Data, and via its resellers, such as Software One. So what tech financing solutions should channel partners be offering enterprise customers today? Channel partners should be providing the full range of financial solutions to their enterprise customers. So let's not forget that the traditional leasing solutions, even with the incoming I4S rule changes, they should be providing those basic core solutions because they still have a major value proposition. Cash flow management, on or off balance sheet, managing the cost of an asset over time with a residual value is still key. What they should also be providing to the enterprise customers is choice. The alternative of a more flexible, agile, 
uh, on-demand CloudFlex open-scale type solution through Dell Financial Services should be provided to provide a choice. So what are the benefits of flexible consumption models to the end customer? First, it's very agile. It can be in place and in use in a very short period of time. Rather than the six to 12 month testing period that traditional architecture would take, this can be on um, premise within a month and up and running. So that is the flexibility part is significant. So it removes a lot of barrier in terms of if your business is out launching a new platform, you have an opportunity from a business perspective to be up and running in a very short time frame. But it's also the pricing structure. So we see that this new type of subscription model offers you um, a monthly pricing, quarterly pricing, yearly pricing. It's really flexible in terms of what the customer needs, but it also gives customers the ability to walk away if that business project doesn't work out. And I think that is probably one of the um, top attributes that they like about these new models. So enterprise clients don't have to worry about whether they've over-provisioned the data center due to the risk share components on some of these flexible consumption models. They can also enjoy the flexibility associated with their subscription to asset lifecycle management. But what about the channel partners themselves? To what extent can the channel partner make use of these models as they too have budgetary challenges as they expand their own business? This is uh, it's very critical for us, so the, the flexible options, because we can address new resellers. We can address projects where we have issues with uh, payment. Yeah, we, have, uh, we can address uh, technology which can be used to uh, uh, move into a new business model. So all the flexible options help us to address those uh, market. And for us, it's very important that we can generate a new reseller base or new technology. So this is what we are aiming for. To our own business, it is... Uh, um that uh, if we are going in some projects, we always get faced with, uh, we are running out of budget, we can't start it now, we have to plan it in advance to get it in budget. And uh, what we are getting uh, always faced is that they uh, looking for some financing models, some late payments. Um, there are a lot of companies who say, okay, I want to use at first and pay afterwards, not front up paying. So that is something uh, where the uh, customers get faced with uh, networking capital issues, uh, extended payment terms and so on. And that hit us as a partner very hard because we are in the middle between the people who are on the consultant and the people who are, uh, are the companies who are offering the services. And for us as a partner, it's almost impossible to do all the financing in the middle. So for us, it's absolutely needed and uh, there's no doubt about without any financing services we are not able to offering that kind of solutions. So interestingly uh, our technology partners today are rapidly adopting the, the more fluid flexible open scale type suite of solutions. So as they become a hoster of service they actually are very very careful to manage the cost that they are incurring to the income that they're generating. So an open scale, as we call it, the open scale suite of solutions, gives them that, that absolute granularity of cost to manage the in and the out uh, and drive greater profitability. So there are a number of different solutions that can be offered to an enterprise via a reseller, and also a number of solutions that can be offered to a reseller and distributor themselves. So as a channel partner, the key to ensuring that you choose the right option, be it for yourself, your enterprise client, or your reseller partner, if you're a distributor, is to work with a trusted advisor from the technology finance organization like Dell Financial Services who can guide you to victory in this fast-paced digital world. I hope this video has provided you with food for thought. Please check out the special FDE report on tech financing and usage model solutions and please visit the FDE and Dell Financial Services website for further details. In the meantime, please like this video and subscribe to FDE TV Many thanks for watching. I've been Steve Dunkley. Goodbye. <laughs>